have entered the prep zone. Oh my goodness! Bryce, splash down! Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. Tonight we have a crosstown rivalry matchup, Fountain Blue taking on Lakeshore. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say, and we'll get to the action. All right, pregame with Coach Leak. Coach, still very early in the season, but how is your team doing so far? Um, you know, kind of off to a rough start, but, you know, we're getting back into it. I think we're getting into a rhythm now, we're kind of finding a little identity in the attack. So we um, kind of matched back up to three and three. Playing kind of a crosstown rival in Fountain Blue. Uh, what's it going to take to beat them tonight? Man, we, uh, we were coming off two good wins in the Dominican tournament. We played very good possession style, so I think we got to keep we got to keep the ball. All right, pregame with Coach Pennington. Coach, early in the season, how uh, how's your season been so far? Doing well. Um, we have a, you know a few wins here against some quality teams, middle of the road, but um, we have two ties, and uh, right now we're sitting undefeated. We've got a really good test tonight. Right now, we're about to get in the thick of our season, so you know we we have a lot of um, challenging games coming up. So. You know, we're getting into the meat of it, really. Yeah, Lakeshore started off rough, but they've been rolling in their last couple of games. What's it going to take to beat them tonight? Um, you know, I think a lot of teams are waiting for key players to come back from other sports in the, from the fall. And so we're still trying to find our stride. And so we had a good tournament this past weekend. I think we found some combinations that work. So we're going to try some new things tonight and then hopefully stack up our best against their best. And, you know, it's all going to be about the quality shots on goal with the weather right now, so we'll just see what happens. You know, definitely need some luck on our side, so. Nolak kicks it off for Lakeshore to get us underway. Lakeshore and Fountain Blue, this game being played at Lakeshore, was initially a home game uh, for the Bulldogs, but flipped to uh, here at Lakeshore. Yes, uh, the, the wonderful world of uh, modern day construction being what it is. Uh, a number of fields around the parish that are uh, not quite finished at this point, including Fountain Blues. So Lakeshore throwing in on the far side, and Grant Yenny and Coach Jimmy Inman up here in the press box. Good times, nothing but good times. And, uh, you can see on your screen there a lot of fog. Yes, out it, there. You know, it's one of those things we've had a, a really warm winter for the most part, in particular when you're talking soccer. Uh, normally it's uh, a lot colder <laughs> and maybe instead of fog, rain. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that one sailed and put back into play quickly. This one over to uh, Kent. Two quality teams on the field, so we can expect to see uh, some quality soccer. And that one hit the flag in the corner. Must have like gone. That'll be a goal kick. Yeah, must have gone out of the back touch line. Booted up field and another whistle. So this could be this could be dangerous from this position. You look for Lake Shore to serve this in. Fountain Blue's going to have to mine their line. Looks like Kent setting up to take this one. Good kick there. Oh, and just hitting off the top of the uh, crossbar of the American football goal post. And that's it. Just a, a foot and a half too high, so to speak. Uh, keeper was in good position. Uh, but that being said, nothing wrong with a, uh, a, a good look at goal right there. Kicked away, shouldered down by Gettys. And out of bounds for a Lady Bulldog throw in. Nice turn. Yeah, Kayla Amato. Amato kicking it forward. Looking to run it down, or there's a Riddell. 
well defended right there by the Titans. Good, good uh, one-touch passing by the Bulldogs to set that attack in motion, uh, but well defended nonetheless. Kicked up, looking to run it down. No, they'll let that one go. So throw in here for the, the Lady Titans. And uh, Ava Sampi. And I tell you, we are talking the conditions earlier. With the fog, as it settles in, because it is settling in, uh, the, uh, the field, the turf, is actually going to skip quite a bit. So something to keep in mind. Yeah, walking on it earlier when we were doing the interviews with the coaches, um, it was it was slippery already down there. So, yeah, not only the footing for the young ladies involved, <laughs> to wit in that moment, uh, but also the ball skipping. You know, a nice hard pass will really move on the turf. Back to Johnson. Let's see, Lakeshore looking to get past. They'll drop it back. Kicked up there by Zweig. Good initial decision on the, on the defensive side of the ball for Fountain to turn and drop the ball back and pass out of pressure. That's one of the things you see at the high school level is, you know, the decision making. Uh, you want them to pass out of pressure, always let the ball do the work. And if you can do that, then you can move the ball around and, uh, create some opportunities potentially. So, and we've seen both defenses do a pretty good job of maintaining their form. Now we have a stoppage on the field. Two officials gonna talk here in the middle. Um, okay, I see. Uh, so there was a, because one showed up a little <laughs> late, so they were switching out uh, positions. I guess the, the main ref wasn't here yet, now he's here. Yes, right up in the press box, we were uh, you know, having the conversation, or I was listening to the conversation, as to say, about uh, 5 p.m. kickoff, and even the, the officials, you know, that's an early kickoff, especially coming across the lake, and I would imagine even more pronounced with the fog. Oh! <laughs> Big shot there, but she'll shrug it off. Indeed. It's one of those where she's uh, she's probably just checking to make sure she doesn't have a, a bloody nose from that because, uh, and I, you know, again, the conditions, it's just a little cool out. It's not cold, but it's a little cool. It's one of those where it, it feels worse. make it feel worse, worse so yeah. <laughs> that one booted long. They're putting a charge into yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was ambitious. Uh, but, you know, again, if you can stay on top of the ball and drive the ball right there, then an opportunity certainly can, uh, you know, present itself. But not that time. Got a little under it, drifted a little bit, and, and the end result, obviously, is a goal kick for uh, the Titans. Kicked away. Found Blues on the front foot here. Nice square ball, looking out. And uh, Lakeshore does a good job of dealing with that. Now they're on the attack, looking at a nice little through, pushes it through of the touch line. And the Lady Bulldogs are there on the spot. Got a throw in for Lakeshore. Good throw in right there. It's going to set up with a deeper throw, it looks like. Let's Tell you what, see. good job right there by the referees just to seamlessly go from running a duel to a, a three-man crew. Yeah, so, in a couple of seconds, they were yeah. able to quickly jump back into it. A talented really, really, crew here. Really, you know, you can tell that they've worked together, so that's good. That one kicked away and right into the hands of Zweig. Uh, a good ball in right there, I tell you. <laughs> and that's even tougher for Zweig to handle with, like I said, we, you know, talking about the conditions. So. This one, Lakeshore kicking it back. Let's see this, this back line, can they hold again? Found Blue's done a good job in, in terms of possession in the attacking third. But uh, Lakeshore's done a good job of maintaining their form in their back line. They've been quite disciplined, making things difficult for that final pass. So it's over 
to Kent out of bounds. So throw in here from the far side. Lake Shore moves some ladies up. Kent lets this one fly. Headed nice, back, nice looking to get it to Gettys. On. Gettys with a oh, nice little touch. Gettys looking to get around the defender. And will she play it square here, or she's going to take it herself? Shot. Oh, she blocked away herself. by Zweig. Great save right there near post as well. Found blue looking to counter. Got Kayla some, Amato. Got some numbers. Amato looking to get around uh, Olag. And once again, Lakeshore with a good job. Uh, they're, they're giving up some possession in the year. And Fountain Blue's attacking third, but they're back line maintaining discipline, maintaining form, good communication. So well done by those young ladies. Panzeka with the throw in, and it goes right back out of bounds. So another throw in coming. I'll tell you what, that was a, an excellent save, point blank. So good stuff. And that one goes long. It'll be another throw in for the Titans. And again, Fountain Blue's done a, a good job in the attacking third, maintaining some possession. But it it just it, once you get to that, you know, that final pass or that final look through, it's um, it's just not working for them. And the other aspect of that is Lakeshore's done an excellent job of, like I said, being where they're supposed to be. Getty's there feeding it. To Schroeder. Nice look across. Looking to switch the point of attack. Kicked up by the Lady Bulldogs. <clears throat> and out of bounds. So a throw in here for the Lady Bulldogs on the far side. I mean, that fog looks like it's getting <laughs> thicker. <laughs> it is definitely come rolling in, so... It's not the worst I've seen, though, I can promise you. Uh, you know, uh, I do remember a game once where uh, we scored and w you couldn't see it from the sideline. So you had no idea. We had no clue. We just the kids You saw ran, your team celebrate. The kids ran back and we were like, <laughs> all right, all right. I was like, well, that's, that's awesome. So who was it? You know, it's yeah. the next question. <laughs> who scored it? <laughs> this one is Zweig. That's Anna Zweig. So we have the Zweig sisters on the field. Is that the case? Twins. Outstanding. Athleticism obviously yeah. runs in the family. This one results in a throw in for the Lady Titans. Kicked back by Amato. Not a bad idea. Just a real quick turn. <clears throat> look. Trying to spring the attack. Gonzalez. Looking for an option to pass to here. And... Um. Uh, looks like a um, – I can't tell if he said that was a foul or just uh, the ball ran out of play, but it looks like a throw in, so it must have just run out of play. Thrown in, looking to body it down, kicking it toward the middle. Shot. And that's going to be a corner. Yeah, it will be a <clears> corner <throat> there touched by a Lakeshore player before rolling over a foot and going out of bounds. Yeah, so uh, you make your own luck sometimes, uh, being aggressive with that shot right there, forcing the issue, so to speak. <clears throat> and now Fountain Blue has been rewarded with a corner as a result of that. And to be fair, the best, the best uh, opportunity of the match has been, you know, that wonderful strike by Lakeshore. So now let's see what happens in the other third. Salta Formaggio put it up, and it rolls back to her. Cross and into the arms of Charlotte Murray, the junior keeper. Good job uh, by uh, Murray right there to, to follow that all the way in and make sure that there weren't any issues. 
And that one will go out of bounds for a Lady Bulldog throw in. So Fountain Blue has had a little bit of the run of play here. Uh, Lakeshore has been really dangerous on the counter. Uh, actually, like we said, the, the, the most dangerous shot of the match so far. Here's Salta Formaggio once again. And good defense by Lakeshore. Oh, that one just got away from her. Goes out of bounds, and it'll be a fountain blue yeah, throw in. I think that's one of those things we were talking about earlier. The ball skipping on the turf. It's a little wet, gets there a little quicker. So you may see a turnover here or there as a result of that. Headed down. Lakeshore looking for a foul there. Not called. Shot. And Murray hauls it in. And, and, you know, Fountain Blue looking right there to uh, test from distance. Uh, we talked about the conditions, you know, a, a, a wet soccer ball can be tough to handle. So, Yeah, Mia Martin with the shot there, senior for this Fountain Blue team, also a Southeastern commit. Wow. Good job for her, on that young lady's behalf. And, you know, we, we had the privilege of calling two games over there for football this season. That's an outstanding facility. We I couldn't say you, enough about it. So i tell you what, I was impressed, she, most definitely. Um, uh, Martin gets to play there for, uh, for college. It's an it incredible facility. Nothing wrong with that at all. Foul on the play. So it looks like Fountain Blue is going to have a direct free kick right here and, again, in a dangerous position. Lakeshore has done a very good job of – managing those circumstances. Uh, most of the uh, opportunities have not come to, you know, they, they haven't amounted to what they potentially could. Uh, but a lot of that's Lakeshore's back line doing a good job. And, and of course, Murray and Gold doing a good job. This one will be kept short, sent to Madison and out of bounds for a Charlotte Murray goal kick. So, uh, again, looking to put the ball right across the face of the goal. Uh, wed turf may have lost their footing a little bit right there, and goal kick for the Titans. Murray boots this one away. Matt. Could have been a, a call there as she uh, had uh, Gettys underhooked. I, I think the referee did actually call yeah. it the official, and he was just waiting to see if they were able to maintain possession. Technically, I guess that would be playing advantage, but I would have always argued, look, we're in our defensive third. I don't, I don't think we're looking at an <laughs> advantage at this point. If you're under duress, it, it's not necessarily an advantage. But nonetheless, well done by this the center ref right there to uh, make the correct call. This one kicked up to Amato. That one getting past Rydell. Murray coming up, boots it away. Good job by Murray coming off of her line right there to, you know, play keeper sweeper, if you will. Good look outside right there. Nice ball back in. Fountain Blue doing a really good job, showing on a lot of command right there in the attacking third. Again, the opportunities are close to presenting themselves, but Lakeshore's back line has done a very good job of, you know, managing uh, their back third. This one back, Murray will scoop it up. There was some pressure coming. Yeah, but, she's, uh, she's pretty calm under those circumstances. She Again, she came off her line earlier, and right there she made a good decision to, you know, reduce the distance, so to speak, and keep the advantage in her favor. Gonzalez looking across the field. Right back in the Lakeshore possession. The nice look, but a little miscommunication. Good job right there. Uh, that was Mia Martin kind of creating the issue, so to speak. So let's see, where's there? <laughs> Throw in. <laughs> hey, with the fog, I couldn't see where they were. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're having to double check calls all the way across. 
And this will be a uh, goal kick from Murray. And excellent job by both teams having reserve balls at the ready in case some go rogue. And then they have uh, they have like kids down there to retrieve the balls as they go rogue. So it really keeps the pacing going. It, yeah. keep, it keeps the game moving. Yes, it does. There's Martin. Here's Geddes. And that one goes out. That'll be a throw in for the Bulldogs. And that, that's directly attributed to the, the pressure created. Um, it looked like Salta, Salta La Formaggio as well as Mia Martin. Foul called. That'll be a free kick for the Lady Titans. And I know this is going to sound weird to say because, um, you know, you're saying, well, that's a foul. That's actually a good foul. The last thing you want of your found blue is Gettys running with the ball free. So at this distance, you can reset your back line. So it was a good foul. I should say an intelligent foul. Yes. <laughs> Looking across this one in is uh, Schoeder. And cleared out. Did it bank off of? Yeah, it banked off a Lakeshore player. So it's a throw in for Fountain Blue. This one kicked up and through. Murray will come out and pass it to Sampy. Good job by Murray. Nice, calm, cool, collected. A little mistouch right there, but. Lakeshore looking to uh, have some one-touch soccer. Nice takedown. Plays the ball square. Here's Sampy. That one deflected off of Amato. Will be a Lady Titan throw in. Nice pressure by Amato right there. 20 minutes in if you're just joining us. No score. 0-0. Zero, zero. Good defensive battle. Good, good, tough soccer right there in the middle of the pitch. As my son used to like to remind me, you know, the it's a physical sport within the the bounds of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I think he tested those boundaries, though. To be fair, that one looked like it got away from her on the throw in that slick uh, surface. And it's weird to say on an artificial, you know, turf field with no rain. It's actually, it, it could get worse. It, it's, you know, it's just one of those things where it's just this constant. There is, isn't a, there's not really a dry patch out there. No. <laughs> that one goes, does it, no, out of bounds. Throw in here for the Lady Bulldogs. And again, uh, you know, these young ladies, they have the skill set to, to, to trap and pass. Uh, under normal circumstances. But, uh, again, the ball gets to you much quicker. It's skipping along the turf. Uh, and it just takes you – I guess it takes a little while for it to register at game speed. I know they were out there warming up before the match, but it's just two different speeds. This one taken by the Lady Bulldogs, Salta Formaggio. And is that a foul? He called a foul right there. And, uh, again, probably not a bad foul, an intelligent foul. Uh, you know, you're 40-plus yards out, 50, about 50 yards in all actuality. So it allows your back line to set up and serve everything in front of them. <clears throat> Booted away. Foot race for it, looking to catch and turn. No, but it will result in a Fountain Blue throw in. Fountain Blue has definitely been on the front foot, so to speak. Uh, and they've been in the attacking third more often. Uh, Lakeshore's been the more dangerous team on the counter. So the question becomes, you know, which, which dam's going to break first, so to speak? Is it going to be, you know, the possession that Fountain Blue's been able to enjoy, or is it going to be uh, Lakeshore looking to uh, spring someone? 
taken away by Fountain Blue. Nice look through. And Ooh. too much on that pass. A little too much on the pace. Well, uh, uh, again, honestly, look, when they're practicing on their grass surface at, yes. at, at Fountain Blue, you know, uh, that might that have been a good pass. Yeah. <laughs> and it's perfectly weighted, and tonight it's just out for a throw in. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> a little pace on that clearance right there. <laughs> you could you could hear it uh, when it hit all the way across the field. Throw in here for the Lady Bulldogs. That goes out of bounds. Another throw in just up a little further. That's it. That's it. So, And if you found blue, you're like, you know what, we'll work our way all the way down until we get into the most dangerous territories possible. On the flip side, uh, that does compact the field, and Lakeshore has been very stingy with their back line. So this will be a goal kick once again from Murray. Ironically, Murray's been the uh, more, um, she's been the busier of the two keepers, although Zweig has been the one that was called into service with the most dangerous opportunities. Fountain Blue, here's an opportunity. If they can link up, no, cleared out. Yeah, Fountain doing a very good job of possessing, you know, one, between midfield and that attacking third area. Uh, they just haven't been able to put that last pass together. And, again, you have to credit Lakeshore's back line. They've been organized. They've been in the right spot. So They're Murray hauling that one in. And confidently so. So she's done a good job in, in the back. Ooh, slung out to Sampy and just couldn't get it under control, getting past her, and this is a throw-in for Fountain Blue. And, and I think that opportunity comes from field position, uh, from field conditions, I should say. You know, something that she would normally handle with no issue whatsoever. And I, I, and I get it that this is a field that she's accustomed to playing on, but not in these conditions. And that one kicked up. It looked like she was about to kick it one way, noticed something she didn't like, changed it, and kicked it around. I keep waiting to see if Fountain Blue's going to, on goal kicks, to push numbers forward uh, and try to flood the middle of the field. As of now, they haven't, but I, honestly, I think that that's because uh, of something that they saw earlier, which was how dangerous Lakeshore is on the counter. Now looks like a uh, sub coming in for the Lady Titans. This will be a throw in for Lakeshore. Emerson Rydell throwing this one in. Wearing the captain's armband. Nice. Oh. So close. Had that ball been, you know, a couple of yards out, it would have been a nice little give and go. Taken by Alfonso. Cross. Shot. Oh, over the goal. Excellent work by Alfonso. She uh, she not only put the pressure on the back line, she was able to actually steal the ball, maintain possession, bring it to the corner, and put the ball across the face of the goal for a shot that just went over the crossbar. But, yeah, she really put a lot of work into that. So kudos to her. Good job. Booted away by Murray. This could be one of these matches where, you know, once the, once, uh, the dam breaks, you really start to see it open up. Because, again, Fount Blue is playing with a lot of young ladies back. I'm looking at uh, five. Mm. So, yep. So the, they're definitely aware of Lakeshore's uh, ability to counter. This one. And Kick. this is this is exactly why they have the numbers back. Right there. Good defense. Holding there, getting the ball up to Salta Formaggio. Salta Formaggio sends this one long, looking to get it to Madison, but it, I think it just went 
once again with the conditions, went past where she wanted to pass it. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking uh, at what uh, Fountain Blue has set up, and it looks like Coach Pennington is, you know, confident that eventually her attack will, you know, find the find the space and find the finish. Um, but <laughs> a goal will definitely change things if if it, if Lakeshore were to score. And Murray lets that one go. I suppose what I'm saying is this Fountain Blue is being very patient right now uh, because I think that uh, they feel like they're, I don't want to say bossing the match, but they're getting the run of play. For sure. So. It's easier to be patient. It, it is. It is. Uh, when, when you are, um, you know, in con control of the match to a degree. Lakeshore has done an excellent job of uh, maintaining their back line, and they've been very dangerous on the counter. This went up to Whitting. Through. Let's see. Now Zweig comes out and kicks that one away. And good job by Zweig. And I tell you what, on a grass field, under normal conditions, that ball probably checks up as well. And that will be cleared out. So throw in for the Lady Bulldogs deep in Lady Titan territory. It'll be Ava Gonzalez with the throw in. And uh, I tell you what, the work earlier on that same touch, touch line is probably why the decision was made just to put the ball out of play. Throw in here from Amato. Check that from uh, Gonzalez. <coughs> and <laughs> mm -hmm. Gonzalez lets it come right back to her. Let's try that again, shall we? Here's Salt Formaggio looking to pass it there to Alfonso. I think Alfonso was kind of uh, taken off guard by that one. <laughs> I'm not sure what she was uh, anticipating, but it wasn't that pass. Here's a corner kick for the Lady Bulldogs. This one's up. Oh, Murray able to bring it in. Looked like she <laughs> almost lost control of it there, but able to successfully haul it in. Good concentration on her part because, uh, you know, again, we're talking conditions, so she had to manage that, and she did a good job with it. Kicked up by Amato. Murray kicks it away. Now, if you're Coach Westleek, you're looking at these circumstances saying, man, if we would have put that ball in the net, uh, you know, it would have opened the, opened the field up a little bit more and put us at the advantage. Um, but it wasn't meant to be. It was a great strike, but an excellent save. So I'm sure he's thinking because uh, these two teams are both very well coached. And uh, he's probably looking at it saying, you know what, we're going we're gonna to be patient as well. <coughs> we're going to sit back. We'll absorb a little bit of pressure, and we'll look to play our counter. And if we can find the back of the net, then we're going to be on the front foot going forward so throw in here for the Lady Titans long throw in there indeed kicked up by Martin good ball through this is well done and Murray by kicks Murray. it to the bench hey that's what you need to do when in doubt clear it out and that'll be a Lakeshore throw in so that work by Murray right there actually ended up playing out. Lucy Kent throwing it in. Nice try on the flick. Dropping the ball back. Good job right there, ladies. Well done. Kicked up there. And out of bounds for another Lakeshore throwing in. Coach, look at the monitor here. It is. <laughs> it's a ra it's a tad hazy, <laughs> just a tad. But we can still we can still see the players. So yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a start. <laughs> so how I wonder how long these cords are. You know, we may have to move them closer. To, yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Dave might have to go halfway down the uh, bleachers. Here's Martin. Good look. And again, just a little skip off to turf. Thrown in there by Amato. 
Here's Alfonso looking across. Goes out of bounds. So and a goal well, kick. Well defended right there. So Amato's been dangerous down that left flank. So anytime she has the ball in that area and it ends up as a goal kick, that's a, a good thing if you're the Lakeshore Titans. Because she is dangerous. And Amato heads that one down. This one goes straight up in the air. Looks like throw in for the Bulldogs. <laughs> Looks like Amato might try and play it. And that one picked off by Lakeshore. But back into Martin possession and just didn't get uh, the control that she wanted on it. Yeah, I think she was wanting to just put a nice little, you know, touch pass, you know, to where it would check up. And that way uh, she could have her attacker run onto it in space. But it's just so difficult to do. That's a, that's a tough skill on a dry field and a grass field at that. So really tough to, to attempt that this evening. But I most definitely understand the thought process. Now here's an opportunity. Nope, the back line holds. I was going to say here's an opportunity for Gettys, but that uh, back line came up. Now uh, Zweig. Links up here, and it's a battle for it. Fountain Blue kicking this one. Oh, man, that ref is taking <laughs> a peppering. He definitely is, but he's part of the field, so an extension of the field of play. Drop, uh, drop kick, no. Martin no. takes it over to Amato, and that will be uh, kicked to Gonzalez. Here's Alfonso. Cross. That, may that might be, be a corner. Yeah, that's a corner kick. So again, same young lady, Alfonso, going down that same touch line. And uh, again, that's why I mentioned earlier, if she's going down that touch line, then a goal kick would be a good result for, for Lakeshore instead. An opportunity presents itself. Punched up by Murray. Headed. Alfonso deflected. And just not enough behind that one. It rolls to Murray. But a, a dangerous situation there for the Lady Titans. They come out without giving up a goal, though. And and a good job from by Murray of coming off of her line and making, you know, making herself, her presence known, making herself... Uh, impactful in the game so play on that was all ball this will be a goal kick down to the last four minutes at least what's on uh, the the scoreboard so what do you think these coaches are going to tell their teams at half I don't think you'll see radical changes just simply because uh, based on uh, the ability levels of the ladies out on the field, uh, this may be something, again, both coaches may look at this and say, we can still be patient and play our game. So, again, both of these squads are very well coached. So, yeah, Wes Leak and Carly Pennington, two of the top coaches in the state. Yeah, no doubt. They're phenomenal, both of them. Both of them have uh, multiple state championship appearances. Coach Leak has a, uh, a win. Yes, he does. Yeah, most, most definitely some quality on the touchline. And scooped up by Murray. So Coach Leak was also a, a pretty solid player in his own right. Still is. Is that right? Uh, I've never asked him about is, his playing but, career. Uh, he was a quality player, and, and that carried over into the men's league, by the yeah. way, <laughs> over at, at, at MSC, uh -huh. um, at Pelican, I should say. Yeah. So this one kept down. And, and of course, Carly was also, well, I mean, an excellent all-state player an excellent for Fountain player. Blue High School. You know, I mean, 
Yeah, excellent career with the Lady Bulldogs. And sadly, I remember those days because <laughs> I was still an old guy on the touchline back then. <laughs> Amato kicking this one up, and that's offside. Close. That was close. It wasn't a bad look. It wasn't, a, wasn't necessarily a bad run. Uh, just a good job uh, by the uh, young lady for uh, Lakeshore holding her line, letting the attacker drift just ever so slightly. But offsides is offsides. Whether it's an inch or a mile, it's, it's offsides. And this one kicked away. You know, we should have as we approach uh, stoppage time. I, I, Full disclosure, I'm always wrong predicting this. But <laughs> I don't think we'll have very much. But um, In terms of changes? Uh, in terms of stoppage at the end. Added uh, on no, by the officials. No. I don't think we'll have much. No, I, I, if anything, maybe a minute would be my guess. But right. they may call it on the dot. There just hasn't been much. <laughs> The official <laughs> squirming out of the way. He's like, man, I had to drive in fog to get here, and now I'm just <laughs> I'm dodging the soccer ball every which way. And that one booted out of bounds, so a throw in for the Lady Titans. Yeah, there hasn't been a ton of substitutions. Uh, thankfully, nothing uh, concerning the young lady's health, health on the field. So shouldn't be much. But, look, there's been times where uh, Rhett and I – have said, well, maybe we'll have a minute, and they ended up adding five, and we really didn't know where they added it out, you know. And then there's been times where there's plenty of stoppage, injury timeouts, all kind of stuff, and <laughs> they, they blew it right on the dot. So who knows? <laughs> Tell you what, Lakeshore, very dangerous right here at the uh, the end of this first half. They're in the attacking third on the front foot right here. Nothing came of it, but uh, – Dangerous uh, if you're a found blue bulldog with uh, the possession that's you're giving up in your defensive third at that point. Throw in. And this will be another throw in. I would imagine the whistle's coming soon, but you play to the whistle. Well, there, there it is. is. They, so they blew it <laughs> right at 40. Uh, we will head to half. No score. 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, LaCour and Alfonso kicking this one off to get half number two underway. No score. 0-0. Zero, zero. Been a defensive battle. Both teams, Coach, have had their moments. Absolutely, and here's uh, Lakeshore looking to, uh, you know, penetrate that back line, which is really tough to do. Um, yeah, they've been stout all match. Yes, Found Blue's done a good job. Nice ball, a little too much on it. The idea was right. Lucy Kent will clear it out, but it'll be a throw in for the Lady Bulldogs deep in Lakeshore territory yeah, now. I, I tell you what, Found Blue was overloaded on that side. Could have really uh, made that into something really dangerous at that point. But, uh, again, coming back out, slick field, ball skips, and the opportunity is lost. Kent taking the free kick here. Headed down, Madison battling it out with uh, Oleg over there. A little square ball, but ends up. <clears throat> Nothing comes of that. Lakeshore Lake again with possession, doing a good job. Over here, sideline Kent line. pressing the sideline and cleared out by Jessica Johnson. And again, if you know, I'm looking and Fountain Blue has just a lot of numbers back. And this one taking Mia Martin. Room to run, Good passing ball. it up to LaCour. That may have been the best pass we've seen tonight in terms of the weight. Vita Kinchin Gosh. dropping it back. Oh, so calm right there by Charlotte Murray. Uh, it, two players for Fountain Blue closing in. She had to split, made sure that she could put it between both defenders, and now Lakeshore with the opportunity in the attacking third. 
Good but ball. Here's back. Geddes. And oh, that well. one taken away well by defended. Martin. And now, let's see, Martin and Oleg battling it out. And there's a whistle. I don't think we've seen a card yet tonight. And that just goes to show you this two things. Uh, one is the skill level of the young ladies involved. You typically don't see it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, how can I say this? The possession's been to, to the degree to where the opportunity to foul really hasn't been there. Gettys will take the free kick here. Shot. And Zweig able to stop it. Tough ball for Zweig to handle right there. Gettys puts a, a charge into that. Skips uh, five or six feet in front of uh, Zweig, and she was able to measure that and do a good job of staying in front of the ball. I think probably a handball there. Uh, I didn't see it. Uh, to be honest with you, yeah. literally the seam for the windows was right in front of my view at that point. This one kicked away. A little attempted flick on. Lakeshore's back line does a good job handling it. And now the opportunity to break. And that one goes out of bounds. And it looks like it's going to be a throw in for Fountain Blue, so well defended by the, the Lady Bulldogs back line. Amato. You see, and both squads come out with a little, it seems like a little added sense of urgency. So the opportunities uh, in the first five minutes here of this second half uh, <laughs> seemingly have almost equaled the chances in the first half. I know that's no not kidding. The, I know that's not the case, but the, 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 the style of play and sense of play has been a little more urgent. Both at least uh, seems that way. Both keepers have been in danger here so far in the they, first, in the uh, second half. They've <laughs> both been called into service okay. and and a, it, more so, like I said, except for that one <coughs> strike early on, where Zweig did a very good job at her near post. But yes. For sure, Charlotte Murray was under duress earlier in this half. Um, and just recently, of course, Zweig having to, to handle that, you know, really difficult strike. And that one goes out for a Zweig goal kick. Yeah, most definitely impressed with the organization of the back lines of both squads. They've done a good job. And it's not like they're going up against some rummies. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> they're, they're playing against some really good ball players. Let's see. So yet another goal kick. Zweig's been busy these last few minutes. Murray was under pressure uh, the first, you know, three, four minutes, and now I guess it's Zweig's turn. I'm pulling up the uh, girls' soccer power ratings. You have the number 12 team in Division Two in Lakeshore taking on the number 11 team in Division One in Fountain Blue. And, and you know, with power points being what they are in terms of the power rating, this is a big this is a big match for both squads uh, out of district. You know, so. Hey, look, a draw is not the worst thing in the world given the circumstances because at the end of the year, both of these squads are going to have quite a few wins. Uh, so when we talk about both coaches being patient, uh, this is a way for them to test their squads, uh, feel out what they have against a, a, a quality opponent, uh, and get them ready for the playoffs down the road. Good move there. Madison, here's an opportunity. Oh, it goes over. The goal. And I tell you what, nice one touch back inside uh, and a good turn and shoot moment. Uh, just unfortunately, it looked like her planned foot kind of slipped just a tad, which lifted the ball. <coughs> on, a, on a dry field, uh, I'm, I'm certain she's testing the keeper right there. Talking about the uh, exceptional girl soccer that we have in this parish, I mean, every year it seems like we have a team that's in uh, <laughs> it mentioned as potential yes, state champion. Yes, contention, for sure. 
last year, Lakeshore playing for it. Yeah, this, this parish is blessed to have uh, quality young ladies coming from really good families, quality, um, you know, associations that they are dealing with outside of the school system. And once they get to the school system, we've talked about how, I mean, just fantastic the coaching is yes. on the touchline. It really is a recipe for success. North Shore right now, uh, coached by Ryan Lazaro, uh, the number two team in the <laughs> state in Division One, Mandeville, a top ten team. Coached by uh, Coach Esker. So many years ago, a real quick side story, uh, Coach Lazaro played for the Slidell Tigers. Um, and uh, way back in the wild, wild west days of early soccer, uh, in order to have a young man or young lady become a member of all state, they had to be nominated. And uh, they had a, I don't know, remember if they had a coaching change or whatever the case may be, but he wasn't able to be nominated by their host school. So. I nominated him. I said, you know what, I'm going to put this, this guy on the, the list. He's a quality player. So he and I have talked about that for years. And, of course, he and I were on opposite sides of the, the, you know, the touch line year after year. And he is just such an amazing coach. He, in my opinion, he's one of the best coaches in the state year in and year out, regardless of whether it's on the, the boys' side or the girls' side. Just superb, yeah. simply superb. He was coaching uh, North Shore's boys. Uh, nearly took them to a state championship, then starts coaching the girls' team, wins the state championship in 2020. Yes, and uh, it, against a very, very talented Mandeville squad. Yeah. Also coached by a superb uh, guy on the touchline. So, you know, I mean, like I said, we're talking quality coaching all over the parish, really and truly. I mean, Sean, Sean Esker, fantastic coach as well. Kicked away by Fountain Blue there. Yeah, there really does seem to be, as you were saying earlier, uh, more sense of urgency here in the, the second half. You definitely see it. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where at halftime, the, you know, the, the how can <coughs> I say this? The phase of, uh, you know, trying to see what's, you know, what the opposition may or may not do, that's kind of behind you. So you're either going to go out there and, and look for the win or you're going to just sit back and see if you can, you know, ride your way to a draw. These two coaches, I can promise you, a draw is not the worst thing, as I mentioned earlier, but they both want to win, as do these young ladies. And why wouldn't they? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, they're it's some it's of the best players in the state. It's basically rival and in two, of the, two of the premier programs. Pro yeah. You, you don't get to be in the position that these young ladies are in without being competitors. No doubt. And I tell you, Lakeshore's been on the, like we mentioned it, they've been on the front foot. So. Kick through and Vita Kinchin takes that one. Up to Schoeder. Kept it? Nope. Uh -huh. Out. Man, that Delayed was close. call. <laughs> that was close. So one of the things that, uh, if I, and again, I wasn't paying attention maybe to the degree that I should have been in the first half, but it looks like Lakeshore has pushed a couple of players up. We mentioned that Fountain Blue may do that, and it looks like Lakeshore actually did it. Um, the old robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak, but it certainly put Lakeshore on the front foot. Because, well, either way, because you bring players up, then you're opening it up for if Lakeshore brings players up, Mia Martin could go. Exactly, know. exactly. Other side comes up, Megan Geddes can get through. Well, it's, it's definitely uh, risk-reward is yeah. the best way to say it. And there's a, a position, um, well, the, the title of the position is a weird title. It's uh, Laberdo, which basically means a free person in front of the back line. 
So uh, I might keep an eye out <coughs> to see if that's what Coach Leak is uh and deployed at this point. I'm learning all kinds of things. Uh, so that's uh, that's an old old <laughs> term. I can promise you, it might have might have passed passed on with me and a couple of other guys. Some of the old timers would use that term. This one to Gettys. Gettys nice look outside. Linking up with Lacombe. Oh, and that one. And she was off side. Off sides. Uh, couldn't have been much, but. Uh, again, we've talked about it earlier. Offside is offside. It doesn't matter if it's an, an inch or a mile. You're, it's off. But uh, the second time tonight we've seen a, a very tight call. But to be fair, the linesmen in both cases were spot on where they were supposed to be. So, again, a good job by the crew. And that one kept in right at the sideline by Madison. Out of bounds, throw in. We are so grateful for the ball retrievers. <laughs> they really keep this uh, going. There's no long waits as no. the ball's retrieved. Awesome to see that at these games. Also, it gets uh, the younger girls in the community out at these games where they can see Fountain Blue and Lakeshore play probably a, a teams that they're going to play for down the road. And model their play after. For I sure. Mean, you know, these young ladies are not only uh, mentors off the field, you know, um, showing what good, you know, hard work and determination can do. And that goes for on the pitch as well. You can model your your style of play after someone who's older than you that you can actually see and go, you know what? I like the way that, you know, this person plays or that person plays, and I'd like to incorporate that into my game. It's really, a, it's really quite an education for them. And also, they're getting the opportunity to really assist in the game and keep it yes. and keep it going. We're, yes. you know, we talk about every game how grateful we are when the team has uh, retrievers down there. We've got some substitutions on the far side. A throw in for Lakeshore. And here's an opportunity. Fountain Blue taking it. Looking to switch fields here. Good run. <clears throat> now looking to link up that one. Deflected. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Bulldogs. Shouldered down. Out of bounds. Throw in here now from Kent. Good throw. Yeah, Kent well puts a lot of well. muscle behind it when she throws. Yes. Her throws uh, remind me a lot of Jordan Grigsby's. Um, she played for North Shore, now plays for Appalachian State. Appalachian State? Appalachian State? <laughs> How do we say it? Either way, yeah. a quality college you know, program, and uh, it just goes to show the ability of the young ladies on the field. A lot of talent out there. A long throw in. So all the way on the far touch line, some time to handle the ball, looks to drop the ball back and throw in for the Lady Bulldogs. Uh, yeah, uh, again, it's just uh, something that these young ladies would be able to handle that all day without any issues or concerns in terms of uh, possession, but not, not tonight. A good look up the touch line, but a little too far out in front. And once again, we have a change of possession. And then mm -hmm. the referee's playing on. He's playing the advantage. A good call. Here's a good look. An opportunity presents uh -oh. itself. Keepers out. Cross, and goal. That's a goal. That's, that's a, a goal. goal. Kayla Amato <laughs> finding the back of the net. I tell you what, uh, that really came up. Brianna Lacour uh, on the right hand side did an excellent job of putting a whole lot of pressure uh, on the ball. And uh, yeah, the end result a beautiful cross, a little bit of a deflection. 
It's a little bit of luck, but you make your own luck, as I mentioned earlier, and a quality finish. Fountain Blue leading 1-0. And Schoeder kicking that one away to get us back underway. Fountain Blue leading 1-0 here in the second half. And, you know, that was kind of against the run of play. Lakeshore really had done a good job of possession in the attacking third. But, you know, we mentioned this earlier. Um, it, it may create a, a counter in terms of the opportunity for Fountain Blue. And, look, Fountain Blue did an excellent job of uh, making the most of those circumstances good. Uh, hard work, hustle, and determination that paid off for the Lady Bulldogs. Oh, wait, th no, they say like a throw-in violation I, I, there. I think so. So a throw-in now for Lakeshore. It'll be Lucy Kent. Kent sends this one in, headed up, and that, let's see, and that'll be, that a be a corner. A corner for the Lady Titans. And they picked up right where they left off. So, you know, found blue scores, and then Lakeshore's on the front foot again. So this is an opportunity for the Titans to, to draw things level. Kent sends this one. It's behind the goal. So that'll be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. And, and if you're Coach Leak, that's one of those things where you're like, man, uh, at least get it in the field to play so we'll have the opportunity. So, and, and a, to be fair, we're talking about a, a you know, slick field. You don't know if it doesn't take much in terms of your plant foot. If it moves a half of an inch, I can, I can tell you from experience, it, it totally, totally ruins any accuracy that you may think you have. Throw in on the far side from the Lady Titans. That another throw in coming. So they're definitely on the front foot, maintaining possession in their attacking third. Found Blue's done a good job of, of handling that and managing that. They have numbers behind the ball and the lead. Quickly, so. Fountain Blue puts it back in play. Man. <laughs> another throw in. <laughs> Nice thing about the field here is you do have that added width as well. So on a, on a lot of fields that the young ladies play on, uh, it would only be 53 yards wide. So here you're adding an extra 12 yards, give or take, and that's a lot of real estate to work with, in particular if you have a talented squad that is well coached, which is exactly what we're looking at with both of these squads. Very well coached, I might add. Very well coached. Now Kent kicking that one up. Uh. Found Blue Sampy. Doing a, found Blue doing a good job right there of applying some pressure. And this is where the goal came from in the, you know, a little earlier on. So Murray. Boots this one away. Almost a reversal of the first half where Fountain Blue had uh, the lion's share of the possession and uh, Lakeshore was very dangerous on the counter. Now Lakeshore has the, the better of the possession and Fountain Blue's been very dangerous on the counter. Kicked away by Amato. Too much on that one. Could you keep it? In? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not quite. I thought she was going to keep it there. Uh, again, a grass field that's dry. That ball is weighted perfectly, but not tonight. Instead, goal kick for the Titans. Murray sets up to kick this one away. And I did mention earlier, you know, I, I was wondering <coughs> if Fountain Blue would push some young ladies forward. Uh, the downside to that is you give a lot of space, <laughs> um, you know, for, uh, for the counter, so you really don't want Megan Geddes running onto the ball right there with a lot of space. Fountain Blue taking it away. And out of bounds off Kent. It'll be a throw in and from you're uh, Gidry. You're seeing a lot of the young ladies now. We talked about it earlier. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, potential for 
many fouls just simply because of the possession. But uh, you're starting to see a, a lot more um, aggressive play, not, not necessarily in a bad way, just uh, high pressure. So, which can create some problems. That's why I didn't get all of that one. No, not, not all of that one, you're right. Here's Kent, little ball squared, turns out, looks, continues to switch the point of attack. Nice job right here by the Titans. And again, they've really been dangerous in the second half in terms of possession. But here comes the counter. And cleared out. But it will be a, a throw in in the attacking third for Fountain Blue. Thrown, kept short to South Formaggio. This one getting through. They're going to drop it back to keeper. Great decision right there. Body down. Here's an opportunity for the Lady Bulldogs. Shot and scooped up. Solid play Thunder. all around right there. Solid play by La uh, Lakeshore's back line, dropping the ball. Good job by Fountain Blue in the attacking third to get possession and then get the shot off. And, and if we're talking about that high pressure, uh, that was the result of that. Here's Geddes. Nice, nice footwork on uh, display right there. Nice set of skills. Good ball over the top. This could be dangerous. Here's an opportunity for Geddes, bodying it down. Oh, off the crossbar. Fa Lakeshore looking to follow it up. Now Geddes again. Shot. That time. Ball. She buries it. Man, what great work right there by the Titans. Uh, never gave up, kept pursuing the ball. I mean, off the crossbar, that can be one of those where it's like, you got to be kidding me. But they stayed focused uh, and were able to find the back of the net. So, uh, you know, the little slight changes have paid off for both squads right here, both schools. Able to find the back of the net. Yep. And uh, how can I say this? In the first half, I found Blue was getting the lion's share of the possession. And I think Coach Leak looked at it and said, you know, at some point they have so much talent, they're going to find a way through. We need to change some things up. And in the second half, you know, Lakeshore's been on the front foot with the exception of uh, the Amato goal. Right. And a couple of other <laughs> nice uh, counters by Fountain Blue. But it's it's been a good decision up to this point, even though it's a 1-1 game. Uh, it's it's kind of flipped the script, so to speak. This will be a throw in for the Lady Titans. With about 12 left in regulation. And uh, then we should have a decent bit of stoppage because of the injury timeout. Yeah. And I would, I would imagine three to four minutes if I were to guess. And again, Fountain Blue's done an excellent job with high pressure in the attacking third, which has paid off. So when the opportunity presents itself, and here we go. Oh, man. Crossing the face. So close. And, and if she's able to, you know, use her laces, bend the ball to the right a little bit, it may have worked out perfect. But, gosh, that's a very difficult skill. That's a that's something that if she were able to pull that off, that would have been most impressive. Ball Kicked through. Away. And here's Gettys on the run once again, bodying that one down. Martin. On the defense, and there's and a... She's saying the ball was handled, so this should be a direct kick, if I'm not mistaken. If I saw what I <laughs> thought I saw, and it could be a so a direct kick for Lakeshore. This could be quite dangerous. From, from 21 yards out. So this... 22. So the question becomes, it looks like Gettys is going to be the one to take it. We know she's got a cannon, so the question is, is does she does she go for goal or does she look to go to the um, – switch the point of attack and go to the other side and maybe find someone? I'm thinking she's going for goal. 
She doesn't take it. Kept low, uh, taken by Vita Kenshin. Uh, I suppose with uh, Gettys going and you know looking as though she's going to strike the ball, trying to find the keeper and getting her uh, you know wrong-footed, so to speak. Didn't happen. Good job right there by uh, by Zwig in goal. Throw in here, Lady Bulldogs. And right back out. So another throw in from Gonzalez. And look, I, you know, the, hand, the ball being handled right there, that wasn't intentional. But it, if it was, <laughs> it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now in the uh, 70th minute, this one. It's tied up 1-1. One, one. And I tell you, based on the way that the, the match has progressed and played out, honestly, a draw would be very fitting for both, both squads. It would be a fair result is the best way I could say it. Um, these are two really good teams, and they are very, again, very well coached. So. Kicked away. Bodied down by Madison. And out of bounds for yeah, the, the Lakeshore throw -in. At this point, uh, to lose this match would be a, a harsh result based on the level of play that we've seen. Yeah, both teams have really left it all out there on the, uh, on the pitch. And it looks like we have the, the, the young men ready to play over in the corner. So if the fog rolls in, that will be even <laughs> more interesting when the second match is played. We're covering uh, both teams later this season, so <laughs> fortunately for us, we won't have to deal with the fog for that one. <laughs> we hope not. We hope not. Let's see, battling it out. There's a whistle. And Fountain Blue looking to take this one quick. They were definitely looking to uh, spring the attack. Not a bad idea, though. You know, if you, if you can catch your opponent with their back to, back to the ball, you take advantage of that. Good look. Kicked Good up. look. Brandon LaCour looking across. And that's going to lead to a corner. Oh, no, no a goal, goal kick. kick. Wow. Again, the linesman's right there, had the best view of it. And found blue again with the ball in possession and the attack third inside the 18, looking to cross it. Still, still trying to get it across, and that is going to be a corner. So now found blue with, uh, with the opportunity to, I mean, Knocking on again, the door. this would be a tough, tough goal to give up if you're Lakeshore. But, I mean, hey, found blue in this case with high pressure is – has put themselves in the position to take this game. The bag's down on the field for the, the boys game, <laughs> having to push them out of the way to get this uh, corner off. Now knocked away and into the arms of Brooke Mason. Tell you what, Mason did an excellent job right there, coming off of her line, getting to the ball first, reducing the distance. Excellent job by that young lady. Throw in here for the Lady Titans. And look, I'm – I. I I guess I'm going to blame this on my aging eyes, but I didn't notice the, the keeper change from Murray to Mason. I, I didn't either, and I'm, so. I'm significantly younger. <laughs> we'll blame it on the fog. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> blaming it on. <laughs> so throw in for the Lady Bulldogs. Gidry. That one goes out of bounds. Gidry will throw in once again. And we're at the six-minute mark. 
plus stoppage. So maybe Which could about, be a good bet. Yes, and this is a great ball, good through ball right there. We're going to run it down far side of foot race. Let's see. Well defended. Cleared by, out. Well defended by Lakeshore. Good shot. Good job staying in the channel, making sure that uh, the ball was continually being pushed wide. Uh, a lot of white shirts flowing back with the ball, so. And this looks like to, it's going to be a foul blue throw in in there attacking third. I tell you what, Coach Bennington looks like she's uh, made a slight formation change, and it's put them on the front foot right here at the end. Look, we talk about them being competitors. You know, you, you talk about a draw might be okay, you know, for these. Oh, they want to win. Pennington <laughs> says no. Look, no, no, no. Both of them. <laughs> uh, I mean, Coach Leak, I can promise you, if he can – if he can uh, spring in, in the attack here, like right now, they're playing for the W. Because that would be even bigger points when it comes to power ratings. And don't kid yourself, these young ladies, they want to win. For sure. <laughs> you know, it's, for sure. it's not just the coaches, <laughs> I can promise you. Also, Cross town rivalry. Yes. Like. Now the the motivations may be different. It may be the cross town rivalry and no, seeing your friends out on, on about in town and being able to talk a little trash, so to speak. But uh, the coaches they're looking at this from from a, a long term perspective. These young ladies are like, no, we want to win because these are these are the people that I want to uh, get the best of tonight. <laughs> Throw in here for the Lady Titans deep in Fountain Blue territory. And, and uh, headed right back one. out of bounds. Yet another one. Down to the four-minute mark and counting, plus stoppage, as we mentioned. So probably about seven or eight. <clears throat> Lakeshore with another opportunity. Ball goes in. Wow. Zweigel let it go. Yeah. Uh, and and smartly smartly so. Now, you know we mentioned uh, you know Fountain Blue potentially pressing on a goal kick. Does Lakeshore do the same? And yes, they do. This could create a counter. Balls through and well defended by Lakeshore. Perfect perfect positioning. Now trying to reset the attack. Out of bounds. Throw in for Lakeshore. Lakeshore's on the front foot here. Wow. Ooh. And, it's and gonna wait, be a corner. is that a corner? Yeah. It's a corner. I tell you what, that that shot pretty much came out of nowhere. She didn't have much to work with. The def the defense right there were in an excellent position. They they only gave her the near post. And that's exactly what she went for, which was, you know, Zweig's right there. But, um, man, has some power behind that shot. And you might say, well, that, you know, the chance of a goal is slim and none, but now it's a corner. It can't take in the corner. And this oh, one, ooh, 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 dangerous. Man. That's one of those uh, just, you know, trickles just wide past that far post. Now the kick coming for the Lady Bulldogs. And as we mentioned, Lakeshore pressing right here. And in dangerous in doing so. Here's Geddes. Kept in. I don't oh, think so. they're going to say it was I out. I think it was out. So a goal kick here for Zweig. I think Geddes was thinking about trying to put a cross in with her left foot, but it was well defended. That was taken away. So she was going to reset and go with her right foot. but That'll be a throw in for Lakeshore. Happen. Yes, off the heel, sure enough. So as we said, Lakeshore's on the front foot right now. That was a weird throw in. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that throw going where it went. Throw in here for Fountain Blue. And uh, we are now in stoppage time. So let's see how much they add. 
It's a good question. My, my guess was three to four minutes, but what, closer to three, if I would have to guess, truly. Here's Penzika. Zweig's going to handle that and reset from the back. Punt it away. Physical play out there. Yeah, you're you're definitely seeing like we talked about that sense of urgency. It's it's kicked it up even another notch at this point. That'll be a throw in for Lakeshore. And this match is ebbing away, and every player on the field knows it. Uh, and that's, like I said, that sense of urgency is, it's it's magnified exponentially. Here's Lucy Kent, headed to throw this one in. This one back, and that will be a goal kick. Uh, and that one just wide of the oh, near wait, post. They're saying, yeah, corner. So obviously uh, a Lady Bulldog got a touch on that on the way out. So Kent once again puts this one up. It's a scrum for it. Ball comes free. Fountain Blue looking to kick it away. Lakeshore puts a charge into it. Zweig in front of it for the save. She's done a good job with her positioning tonight. Uh, in goal, so in the right spot. They're gonna, yeah, they're, there's the handball. However, inadvertent it may have been, it's still against the rules. <laughs> in that case, for sure. Uh, you know, with the arm extended and an unnatural playing position, it's just kind of hard to argue against. So. Kent taking the free kick for the Lady Titans. It's a dangerous ball in right here, potentially. And that's a good ball. Wow, Straight what a kick. In. What a kick. And Zweig has to jump on top of it. Boy, I tell you what, that's that's such a tough ball for a keeper to handle because you don't know if you have someone crashing a goal that could get a touch on the ball. And there we go. That's And ball there in. it is. So it ends so. in a tie. 1-1. One, one. So. Let's send our thank yous to those who helped bring you this match, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Jabia, Director of Broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, Cameraman, Editor and Coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams, Color Analyst, Coach Jimmy Inman. So from Lakeshore, where it ends in a tie, 1-1, Lakeshore and Fountain Blue. My name is Grant Yenny. Good night. Mm -hmm.